everyone, Miss Rower here. Let's get juggling. For today's session, you're going to need some juggling balls. Now don't worry if you don't have any, you can use three pairs of socks instead. Okay, let's warm up. Let's get our eyes and our hands working together. We call that hand-eye coordination. Let's go. Okay, let's just begin with some simple catching. Throw the ball up, look at the ball. Have your catching hands ready. Okay, don't worry if you drop it. Pick it up and start again. Remember to look at the ball. Have your catching hands ready. A few more seconds. Okay, well done. This time we're going to move the ball from one hand to the other. We call these rainbows. So we're going to do some rainbows. Okay, watch first. I'm still looking at the ball. Okay, off you go. And again, don't worry if you drop the ball. Practice makes perfect. Pick it up and carry on. If you need longer to practice this one, you can pause the video and then get straight back in. Now you're going to need two balls or two pairs of socks. I want you to throw one up and then the other one. So take it in turns to throw the ball up to each hand. Remember, we are trying to get our eyes and our hands working together. The more we do this, the better our hand-eye coordination becomes. If you want to challenge yourself, throw it a bit higher. Final part of the warm up, we call these clap catches. We're going to throw the ball up. Before we catch the ball, we're going to clap and then catch it again. So here we go, watch what I do. I'm always looking at the ball. And again. Have a go. If you're feeling really brave, Try and do two claps. Remember though, keep your eye on the ball. Throughout this video, I want you to remember the shape triangle. The shape is really important because we're going to be using that as a framework to catch and throw the balls. I'm always going to have a ball here, here, and I'm going to be looking up to see the ball that's going to be in the air. So the triangle is really, really important. So let's get started with phase one of today's lesson. Phase one is called the up switch catch phase. And the reason I use these phrases is so that it helps you to remember the order in which you're doing things. So, watch first. Up, switch, catch. Up, switch, catch. Up, switch, catch. The up part is the ball going up. The switch is happening at the bottom. I'm switching it from this hand to this hand. Always looking at the ball at the top of the triangle. Up, switch, catch. Up, switch, catch. Okay, let's practice a bit more. Pause the video here if you want to do a little bit more work on that. Phase two. This one, I think, is the trickiest phase because we are now going to try and catch rainbows. And what I mean by that is I'm going to catch a ball that's going from this hand to this hand. I'm also going to catch a ball going from this hand to this hand. When we put it together, it looks something like this. 
Up, up, catch, catch. Up, up, catch, catch. Can you see how the balls go up and back down to the opposite hand? Remember that triangle that we're always trying to make. Up, up, catch, catch. I want to make sure that I'm looking at the ball at the top. Okay? Up, up, catch, catch. Have a go at this. And remember, don't worry if you don't get it straight away. Practice makes perfect. Up, up, catch, catch. Up, up, catch, catch. So phase three is one hand, two balls. This is what it looks like. We're going to do up, up, catch, catch again, but this time with one hand. Up catch, catch. And if you look, I'm still looking at the top of that triangle. Watch again. Within phase three, you're going to now try and throw the ball up without stopping the sequence. This is what I mean. Up, 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 up. Okay, so I didn't stop my sequence. I continued throwing the ball up and catching at the same time. Here we go. Up, up, up. This is quite tricky. And again, don't worry, it takes practice. It takes a lot of practice, okay? But we're gonna get there. We're gonna work on a sequence that allows us to juggle all three balls. Watch the sequence, think about the pattern or the way the balls move as you follow them. Here we go. Remember, I'm always looking at the ball that's in the air. I don't take my eye off the top of that triangle. Okay, because that's the ball I want to be able to catch. The way we're going to start this is we're actually going to let the balls drop on the ground. You always start where there are two balls. So my green one is going to go up first. Up. I then switch hands, I'm going to throw up the next one. And then I'm going to throw up the last one. Let's do that again. So, remember the ball starts where there are two balls. Up. Switch hands, up, switch hands, up. You're always alternating. Alternating means changing which hands throw up next. Up, up, up. Practice that. Practice that because that will be the sequence that the balls will be thrown during your juggling. Up, up, up. This is the phase where you are going to try and juggle three balls. When I release this ball here, I want to make sure I've released the second ball because I want to make space in this hand to catch the ball that goes up first. Up, catch, catch. Okay, let me show you once again. Up, up, catch, catch. So remember that little sequence, that was phase two, the up, up, catch, catch. Now, at the same time, I also want to make space in this hand for the other ball that's coming down. So watch carefully. Up, up, catch, catch. Up, up, catch, catch. <sighs> Looks tricky, but trust me, with practice, you will get this. Here we go. Practice this. This is the trickiest part now. This is putting all those things together to make the juggling work. And remember, we always keep our triangle while we're juggling. This takes practice. Don't worry if you can't do it straight away. It didn't take me a day to learn it. 
I practiced and practiced and practiced until I got it right. Catch up, up, catch, catch up. Oh, even I make mistakes. Well done, everyone. We've now come to the end of this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. And remember, you can practice this in your own time. Revisit this video, have a look at some of the cues, and off you go with your juggling. Good luck, have fun, stay safe. Thank you.